bro, you just can't make this stuff up. Like, you can't make this stuff up. This is how we do it, pun intended. This got to make Cowboy fans and Giant fans so mad that we paid our guy. But look at the cap hits. Today on the Philly Talk Podcast, we talking about the masterful class of Howie Roseman. And I talked to Dave Spadero, and he knew that the cap was going to be flexible because we got other guys you want to sign a lot to talk about. But just look at this and say, wow. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike. Talking sixes in the bird game, that's our life. Competition, we ain't scared, yeah, that's what we like. Win or lose, you know we showing up and we gon' fight. Uh, you see, we strive for the sky every day that go by. And every single week we scream and fly, eagles fly. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. What is going on, everybody? I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Tall Podcast. And today, we got to talk about the masterful class of Howie Roseman. But before we do that, Jalen Hurts deserves every penny. Don't be mad because our quarterback got paid, and he deserves it. And other quarterbacks don't. But y'all know what I'm going to ask. Help your boy out and hit that like button for Jalen and the Eagles. Y'all been killing it. Subscribe, ding the bell, so you know when we go live or drop videos. We were live yesterday with Dave Spadero. We talked about Bijan, and he did have some crazy stuff to say about how he possibly taking Bijan. Y'all going to have to go back and watch it. But I do want to say, don't forget, the merch is out. Y'all been killing it. Yesterday was our biggest day of sales. Uh, the Kelly Green Dad and Trucker is going. The Philly Talk Black and White and the Philly Talk Green and Black uh, Snapback is going. And a couple Kelly Green shirts and a couple black and white shirts. So shout out to y'all. The link will be in the description and at the pinned comment section. But let's really look at this. Adam Schefter says Eagles quarterback Jalen Hurts salary cap numbers for the next four seasons. After today's huge five-year extension worth 255. And he does have 179.3 uh, guaranteed and no trade clause. 2023, next year, we got about $20 million in cap space right now, right now, as I'm doing this video. Oh, we can't get Buda Baker. Oh, we can't sign um, Dalvin Cook. Now, do we want to pay a running back that much? Probably not. But don't act like we can't afford these guys. And we only have six draft picks, so we don't have to have as much for the draftees as we did in previous years. All that being said, look at these numbers. 2023, when we're trying to get back to the Super Bowl with our franchise guy, he's worth 6.5, 6.15 against the cap. 2024, 13.56. 2025, 21.77. And 2026, 31.77. Ask me how it's possible i don't know is there any voided years on the back end that we don't know about i need to see the contract in its totality get with guys like on the road of victory get with guys like gate city sports channel and somebody got to explain this to me this is crazy but if you follow me on twitter you would have saw this yesterday at like seven o'clock this is how we do it jalen hurts deal fire that is one two three four years of competing for the super bowl while we can still add players oh how are you going to sign Devonte smith when his contract comes and landon dickerson and blah 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 what if milton williams really becomes the baller that we think he can and this is what i heard all day on twitter from cowboy fans and giant fans they trying to say daniel jones contract was extra cheap yeah, because he's extra buns. Buns. Now, look, this is one clip that I brought to Twitter from the live stream yesterday with Dave Spadero. Again, he broke down the contract a little bit, talked about how, how he always knew it was going to get done. They were just being, uh, they were doing their due diligence, crossing all the T's, dotting the I's, to, again, to make a contract that is so lethal, like this. But listen to Dace Badero. 
Next two guys Harry Roseman is going to probably want to get under contract soon is Devontae Smith and Landon Dickerson. Howie's normally a year early. We're not going to make Devontae wait to his fifth-year option. He's not waiting to his fifth-year option. And Landon Dickerson was a second-round pick. So he's probably not going to even wait to the fourth year. If we make him wait, it's going to be done in the middle of that fourth year. That being said, listen to what I said about Howie before I even saw these numbers. This came out at 4 o'clock. The Adam Schefter's number came out around 7 o'clock. Listen to what we talk about. I asked him, because I heard murmurs of Howie doing something crazy with the cap in one year and, and just being flexible. Rest assured that the Eagles do deals like this, understanding all of the ramifications here, and they don't want to put themselves in a box. And you're right, Devontae Smith is somebody they'd like to sign to a long-term deal at some point. Landon Dickerson is somebody they'd like to sign to a long-term deal at some point to continue building this roster. You know, they just signed last year, A.J. Brown to that long-term deal. He's in, He'll be in the second year of a four-year contract. So he's got three years left and that'll be great if he can stay healthy and be that productive for three more seasons. Um, but the Eagles, I don't think are gonna hamstring themselves with this. The salary cap will continue to go up and who knows the way the salary cap and the, these contracts are going Someday, very soon, Philly Mike, this deal might look like a bargain. I mean, I don't think anybody in Kansas City is complaining about Patrick Mahomes' deal, one that set an NFL record uh, just a couple of years ago. So um, the Eagles understand how it all works, what the projected cap will be, what the cap hits are going to be, what kind of flexibility they will have. Clearly, they do not have any intention of making themselves inflexible. That said, Got to kill it in the draft, and the Eagles have an opportunity to do that with two picks in the top 30. So really, really exciting time of the year for the Philadelphia Eagles, who, you know, put together an amazing roster in 2022, had just a dominant season until the Super Bowl loss, and you want to repeat that. You want to get to that level again, tying up your quarterback here, locking him in, making sure that he is the guy, that there are no questions for the next five seasons. That's a really great first step. A really great first step. And again, he talked about killing the draft. Again, we talk about Bijan. We talk about Jalen Carter, Gibbs, a lot of things. Um, you can go listen to that. It's one of the previous videos. Um, but I want to stay right here for the simple fact that a lot of people are looking at this like the critical people of Jalen Hurts, the division rivals, the haters are saying, you really gave Jalen Hurts all this money off for one year. No. This kid, Scott, he's gotten better at every level of football he's played. The year he took us to the playoffs, he had some problems he had to fix, some mechanical issues, a little inconsistent in throws, but we saw the plays. There were plays in 2021 that made me say, this guy puts a couple things together. He's going to be real good. That's why I didn't give up on him in the offseason going into the 2022 season. Then we heard the work, and then we saw the work. We're not paying for what we just saw in 2022. We're paying for what we saw in 2022 and a 24-year-old kid to continue to get better, to continue to get better. And because of the way the contract is structured, you're going to be able to sign a Devontae Smith, the Landon Dickersons, the guys you sign that are making Jalen's life easier are going to be able to be staying with Jalen for the long haul. The contract was well-deserved. Daniel Jones got paid off of just one playoff game. And we hear people talking about Jalen Hurts got played off, paid off a one-season Super Bowl run. That's more than a lot of quarterbacks have under their belt. And again, it's a Payment for what he's done and what he's about to do. Five years of continuing to get better from 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. After already seeing where you are at at 24. It's a great investment. And again, we don't pay him. Say we make him wait and he has another season like this. Well, the price went up. You know what also makes the price go up? Lamar finally gets his deal. Herbert gets his deal. 
and Joe Cool gets his deal. Now, Jalen balled out twice for the Eagles. Plus, watch all these 52, 53, $55 million deals. What if Lamar doesn't get past the second round in the playoffs? Herbert doesn't make the playoffs. Joe Cool finally loses in the divisional round and hurts his back in the NFC Championship while they're making 55, 56, 57. We're back in the NFC Championship, back in a Super Bowl or something like that, and we still got to pay Hurts. Just like we talked about here, Howie likes to get in front of it. He got in front of it, and he did it so well. Devontae will be locked up. Landon will be locked up. And if you are an eagle who plays good, you will be locked up. The offense is good. We got to work on the defense. He talks about Bijan. We'll be talking about the draft intensely with some upcoming live streams. Go talk with LB. Battle World Podcast with Gate City and Philly Fresh. And another special guest we're going to have on before the draft. Stay tuned for that. Help your boy out. Hit that like button. It's free. It's easy. It don't cost a thing. Also, ding the bell. We need to grow notification, gang, and check out the merch. Like I said, yesterday was the biggest sales. Cop your tees. Cop your hats. And I'm telling you, the pictures don't do justice. I saw live what it looks like. I'm still waiting for mine to feel it, but I saw the picture live. Can't wait to rock it because I'm a hat guy because what's going on up here it can't be seen. <laughs> Until next time, y'all know what time it is. We out. Peace.